Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video for Double Game Week 28 where I'm predicted to get a red arrow and I think I really might get a red arrow. But before we look at what I'm doing, let's look at what happened in Game Week 27 in the Mini League and who the top scorer was. Top scorer in our league was David Sorley with Humanity FC with a massive 114 points and all 11 players returned. That is incredible. I don't remember seeing that before doing these videos. So Foden 15, Watkins 13, Harlan 12. And then we have Gordon 8, Sun 7, Saka 7, Dubravka 7. The back three, Virgil, Saliba, Gabriel all got 6 and Palmer 5. And then the bench boost. Ariola 13, Gusto 5, Walker, Slanky 2. So that's 22 on the bench. Very good score. Very good bench boost. I reckon if you get 16 or more on a bench boost... It was worth playing. Top of the league, we have a new leader with Mohamed Sabbath K and Artekas. Artetikas. I've tried that a lot of times. I really struggle, but it's obviously a good name. Top of our league. 87 points. And the top three here are better than any of the content creators, by the way. They managed that with Foden 15, Saka 14, Ariola and Watkins 13. Gabriel, Virgil, Harland 6, Bowen and Palmer 5. And on the bench, well, there's Leno with 8, but Ariola got 13, so he got the bench right as well. As for me, I'm down in 224th with 80 points. That was with Foden 15, Watkins 13, Harland 12, Dubravka, Sun, Saka all got 7, Gabriel 6, Palmer and Doughty 5, and nothing on my bench which is a small green arrow, first in four weeks, so that was nice. And I'm now 30 points the wrong side of half a million, 299 from top spot. So I'm going to have to start getting some pretty good scores to win this whole competition. Thank you to everybody who watches these videos. It's very much appreciated. Now, if you look at the FPL Game Week website, you can look at the Content Creators League and it'll show where you appear in it. So the top of the league now is Ben Krellin. He does a lot of work for the community. And if you go to X, then on there you can see his predictions for the percentage chances of various teams doubling and blanking in the coming game weeks. So very useful. FPL Franz moved down to second. He's made some interesting choices and they've not worked out for him, but they could have gone the other way and he, he could have been storming ahead by now. As for me, I'm down in 67th, which is still worse than As, but it's still better than Surge. Interestingly... Myself, as and FPL Harry, by chance, all had exactly the same team this week, apart from our keepers. And so I had Dubravka for seven. I think as had Martinez, who got fewer points. And Lucky or Harry had Ariola for 13. So it's just, just craziness. Uh, I suspect if we look at the timing of the transfers, we'll find out they're copying me, but I've not actually checked that out. As for transfers, I'm going to take out Alisson from Liverpool, who didn't even do anything for me because he was ill with a man flu, let's say, and then he hurt himself. Take him out and bring in Neto. I'm sure Neto is probably going to be the most popular keeper to bring in this week. And that's probably all I'm going to do, even though I know I've got a problem in my team. But to me, it's not worth spending four points, which would be eight points probably, to fix it. This is my team as it lines up. I have Solanke as captain. He gets to wear the old mule hat with his mate Neto in goal. Now, I've also got Senesi playing, but he's likely to be out for four or five weeks with an injury. So he's probably not there really. But I'm keeping him in there because he's a doubler and it looks good. And I've got Doughty. They're the only doublers I've got. So in reality, I've got three double game week players. And then I've got Saka and his mate Gabriel at home to Brentford. I've got Palmer at home to Newcastle. I've got Watkins at home to Tottenham. And I've got Sun against him away at Villa. And I've got Haaland and Foden away to Liverpool. So Senesi's not playing. So on my bench, Dubravka in goal, Garnacho, Trippier would naturally come in for Senesi. But he's injured and he might be out till maybe game week 30 is the last thing I heard. Which means a stupid is going to come in for me. And he doesn't always play. And when he does, he normally gets like zero or one points. He's at home to Nottingham Forest. So I'm aware I'm kind of down to 10 players really. But for me, I don't see it's worth taking a four point hit 
to bring somebody in, maybe a Bournemouth defender who might get two clean sheets, and in a week or two spend another four points getting rid of them because I don't really want them. So I'm kind of accepting I'm probably going to get a red this week and I just need to hope I can make up for it on the other weeks. And on this website, you might have seen other content creators do this, it gives you your predicted points in your game week ranking. And my team rating, my team rating is 80% and I think that's the lowest I've seen of anyone posting online for their team, for their serious team. So I thought that was quite funny. But I also think these team ratings and game week ratings are a bit of a nonsense, to be honest. As for the background picture, that's supposed to be a Trojan horse. The reason for that is I think this double game week is a Trojan horse. It's a trap. I think there's going to be a lot of managers that are going to sell good players like Foden for Barkley or maybe Haaland for Morris. And I think in a week or two, they might be regressing that. So when there's a double game week with good teams playing, that's fine. Like uh, Liverpool, Man City, even if it was like Man United or Villa... They haven't got any doubles filler, then it's worth doing piling on the doublers. But for this game week, I don't think it's worth taking hits to get doublers in. And there we have it. That's what happened in game week 27 and my plans for game week 28. Obviously, I'm hoping for a green, but I'm not really expecting one. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. And if you are piling up on doublers, I hope it works out for you. I just think looking back at history, there's a lot more uh, hope than reality in these things. Thanks for watching. Bye.